So you're thinking about moving to San Diego, you wanna know a little bit more about Carmel Valley, kind of right in the heart of kind of, well, San Diego as a whole, but it's kind of part of North County. If you've seen any of our other videos, we kind of cover that, but we'll talk about that in a little more coming up. But we're getting the pros and cons about living in Carmel Valley. We're actually gonna cover 92130, which is a little bit bigger portion of that area. Carmel Valley proper is a little bit smaller, but there's some newer construction neighborhoods right up there that we'll cover as well. So we're gonna get into that and give you the good and the bad about living in Carmel Valley. Howdy, howdy, I'm Chris Erickson. And I'm Cassidy Lewis. And this is where you come for all things North County. We drop new videos every single week, neighborhoods, things to do, and everything in between. So if this is your first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you know when our new videos pop out. And while we love making these videos, we also really help people love helping people move here to North County, San Diego. So thinking about moving here, you have questions, hit us up, call, text, email, whatever's easiest for you. We'll get your questions answered, hop on a Zoom call and get you really dialed in for your potential move here to North County, San Diego. And so like we mentioned, we're covering the pros and cons of Carmel Valley. If you search Carmel Valley on the internet or go to Wikipedia, they give you a few other options. Carmel Valley wine country up in Northern California, Carmel Valley Village, which is up uh, in Northern California as well, or kind of central-ish. We're not covering those. This is Carmel Valley, San Diego, right in the heart of North County, if you look at our channel, we're North County, San Diego. So we've covered it in a few other videos, kinda. So where is Carmel Valley located? It is right east of the five freeway along that goes along the coast there in San Diego, and then is split kind of in half between the 56 highway. Carmel Valley is not a coastal city, really. Uh, it's kind of right there on the edge um, and doesn't have ocean frontage. So like Chris said, we are covering 92130, the zip code, which is mostly Carmel Valley, but also encompasses some neighborhoods kind of around it as well. Um, so we're gonna get into the pros and cons of kind of everything in that Carmel Valley area. Let's get into the first pros of living in Carmel Valley, and that's location. Um, it is definitely one of the most centrally located kind of larger neighborhoods here in San Diego. Like Chris said, it's right on the edge of North County. We kind of have the 56 and that's kind of our dividing line as you go up towards Oceanside and Fallbrook as a nor the North County proper is. But it is super close to a lot of businesses, a lot of um, new companies are coming into kind of that central San Diego area, Kearney Mesa, Claremont, all of those areas are super easy to get to from Carmel Valley. And if you're commuting downtown, it's really not that long of a drive. Like I said, it's about a 20 minute drive to the airport for most days, uh, depending on traffic. And so it's about the same to downtown San Diego if you are heading down there for work. And also if you work in North County, if you work in Carlsbad or you work in Encinitas, it's a quick shot straight up the five freeway to get up there too. So convenience wise, definitely one of the pros. Next pro on the list, we'll kind of cover a little later, it could be a con too, but it's the neighborhood as a whole. It's a giant master plan community, but most of it is pretty new in this whole scheme of things of living in San Diego. I think it started getting built in like the early to mid 80s, but right now there's brand new construction kind of within that little area. So if you want like brand new housing, kind of you know sprinkled out through Carmel Valley and the little surrounding areas too, there's some fairly new construction. So if you're looking new houses, that's a nice area to look. It does lack a little bit of that character of some of the other, let's say coastal cities, just because a lot of track homes, you know, they're all track, they're standard. So you will get a lot of that. But if that's what you're looking for, that might be a spot you might wanna check out. One of the other pros to think about are the schools in the Carmel Valley area. There are some really great school districts, education-wise, really great school districts, but also sports-wise. There's Cathedral Catholic, there's Torrey Pines High School. So there are some really good options if sports are something your, your uh, kiddo's thinking about as well. All of the schools in this area are a reason people move to Carmel Valley. And where Carmel Valley is located, uh, a lot of the newer master plan communities, they have put aside a lot of open space over the years. So running just actually to the south end, there's a big preserve that goes 
way inland, almost, it might even meet up to the coast at some point, but there's like a waterfall in there at certain times, and I don't think it's running right now, but sometimes when we have some rain and stuff, there's a little waterfall people hike to in there. But there's also a few other trail systems throughout the Carmel Valley area, so a lot of them are accessible from these neighborhoods. And like I said, some of the newer neighborhoods are incorporating some of that open space and connecting trails and stuff. So the main one is at the bottom section, there's a little bit in that central section, there's a little trails on the north section. So you got a lot of opportunity for that. And then if you want like some coastal hiking, Torrey Pines is a great little area. A lot of people go there, so weekends, it's packed, it's crazy. Once again, we talked about it in other videos, you can get a pass, a parking pass that does work there. If not, it's like 10 bucks to park there. There's the eastern portion parking lot and the western portion parking lot. But either way, you can get out there and hike these coastal bluffs. It's really pretty. It's killer if you get there for a sunset or something. Um, but like I said, weekends are packed, so go midweek. Definitely holidays are crazy, but you have access to that. It's not in Carl, uh, it's not in Carmel Valley proper, but it is super close. You could just shoot right down to 56 and kind of get there pretty quickly. So with the kind of newer community, master plan community in Carmel Valley, you get a lot of the strip center style shops, um, bigger chain restaurants, chain markets, grocery stores, all those types of things. So there's not a ton, so it's kind of a pro and con that there's a ton of amenities, that's the pro. Um, there's movie theaters, there's you know just a ton of things to do, um, but there's not a ton of kind of that local restaurant options. There's very few. There is a newer shopping center called One Paseo, which is on the west portion of Carmel Valley. And there are some kind of cool spots in there to check out. It's definitely a little more high end for like the shops and stuff they have in there. Um, but that is one of the newer spots that a lot of people are really enjoying. And it's one of the only places that has a local brewery. Harlan Brewing is, is right in that little section too. Carmel Valley as a whole. San Diego is known for beer. They don't really have any breweries. They do have tasting rooms like a lot of other cities around, like Encinitas doesn't have breweries either, but they do have uh, one, Paseo has Harlan Brewing right in there. On that same front, it's like restaurants and shopping, all that kind of stuff. Right across from one Paseo is Del Mar Highlands Town Center, and they have a place called Sky Deck in there recently opened, and that has, they have a bunch of different restaurants and little places to eat and stuff in there, places to drink, cocktail lounge, all that kind of stuff. So. That's right across the road, that's pretty cool too. They also have in the Pacific Highlands Town Center, once again, a lot of that chain stuff as well, but they do have some local flavors in there. Death by Tequila is right in there. There's a ramen place. There's Breakfast Republic, which is like a local, local breakfast chain right here in San Diego. So you do have a few of those options if you search around. Carmel Valley has the only two-star Michelin restaurant, so super fancy, high-end, right in the heart at the, uh, the Fairmont Del Mar. So. If you're looking for Michelin star restaurant, this is the only spot in San Diego that has it. All right, now hopping into some of the stuff you're probably looking for, the cons about living up there. One of the biggest cons I think is because I like a little bit more variety in housing is when you live up there, track neighborhoods, track neighborhoods, track neighborhoods. There's like not, there might be a few little spots, but there is, if you think of Carmel Valley, there's not a whole lot of custom houses up there. There's the original kind of older track neighborhoods up there. Like I mentioned earlier, there's some newer track developments being built. Some really killer places. Uh, Pacific Highlands is one of them that we mentioned uh, as well, like three to 5,000 square foot houses up there. Kind of the, the style is just nice and bright and white and they have the shopping center right up there too. But it is, uh, you know, it is track neighborhoods as well. So if you're looking for custom feeling, custom neighborhoods, this is probably not the spot for you. So one of the other cons would be pricing. Carmel Valley over the years has become one of the most expensive communities in San Diego to live in. Um, some of it's because of that central area that we talked about. Some of it is just the school district. Some of it is the size of the homes you get. So at just comparing kind of the towns just to the north, north of it, other than Del Mar and Solana Beach, which are kind of pricing outliers. Compared to Encinitas and Carlsbad, Carmel Valley comes in right in the middle. Encinitas being the highest, Carmel Valley being second, and then Carlsbad being below that. And I think if you pulled that kind of the right on the coast portion of Encinitas out, Carmel Valley would be very, very close to kind of that same mark as Encinitas. And kind of just comparing types of housing between Encinitas and Carmel Valley, you get a little bit more square footage in, in Carmel Valley, but in Encinitas, you're gonna get a little bit more custom, a little bit more, you know, a little bit more land, a little bit more yard, um, where Carmel Valley is pretty strictly, you know, you're getting a bigger house on a smaller lot. Another thing about Carmel Valley that I kind of see as a con, 
when we think of North County and a lot of our other videos, we kind of talk about the vibe and it's like that beach, coastal, living lifestyle. Carmel Valley, if you look at it on a map, it's just on the east, in the east side of the five freeway, but it doesn't seem to have that coastal feel. So you're like not, certain little neighborhoods are not that far from the water, but it doesn't seem to have like a Encinitas vibe or a Carlsbad vibe or Oceanside vibes. And while you are somewhat close to the ocean, you, you don't have your own beach in Carmel Valley because it's not right on the coast. And beach wise, I think the beaches a little bit further to the north, Encinitas, Cardiff, Carlsbad are a little bit better, a little more accessible. There's a little more beach up there. There's a little bit at Torrey Pines or if you go to you know certain little sections of Del Mar. But I just think the northern coastal beaches are a little bit better. The last con we're gonna chat about is the traffic in Carmel Valley. So you do have the 56 highway that goes from the five all the way out to Rancho Bernardo, Rancho Mosquitoes area. But that does get pretty congested, especially during commute times. And Carmel Valley is only like a two minute drive from southbound, two minute drive to the merge, which is one of the most congested spots for freeway traffic in San Diego. So just something to think about if you have a job where you're, you're at normal nine to five, just plan accordingly. There's times that are way worse than others, but uh, traffic in Carmel Valley does tend to get a little bit rough. And as they build a few of these more communities, it's just gonna add to the density in there, more cars, more people, more people on the roads, all that kind of stuff. So in the next few years, it might get a little bit more kind of congested in there. There are some other options for housing as you go further east. You've got Del Sur, you've got uh, Torrey Highlands, You've got some other neighborhoods out a little bit further east before you get to Rancho Penasquitos and Rancho Bernardo out there. So some other options that kind of feed into that same community that are just outside the zip code. So those are the pros and cons of living in Carmel Valley. So if this is a community that you have interest in taking a look at, getting a little more information about, definitely hit us up. We also love helping people move to other parts of North County. So if you are thinking about a move out here, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We love helping people get out this way.